Hello everybody, this is Tekka, and in this video I'll be going over the Starter Kit plugin for Bucket. This plugin simply allows you to give new players into your server a kit of items, making it easier and generally making things better for those new players. So getting right into it, you're going to want to download it, like I've done, and put it into your plugins folder, just like this, and then you can run your server that will install the plugin. You're going to want to make sure that you're running the latest recommended build of Bucket to do this. Then you can stop your server and now what we're going to do is we're going to go into Minecraft and configure some kits. Okay, now that I'm in Minecraft what we can do is create a kit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put things in my inventory as I would like them to display when a kit is loaded. So let's just say I want people to start out with a stone kit. So I want them to have a sword a shovel, a pick, and an axe. And let's just say I want them to have a couple apples for safety. So, now that I've created the starter kit, I can type in the following command, SK for starter kit, and then save. And that will save my starter kit. And then I can also do SK list to list my starter kits. So the armor includes air because there's no starter kit for that but the backpack contains one stone sword and all of that so what I can do let's say I there's permissions for this um, I'll actually tell you the permission I'll drill fast there's the starter kit dot load starter kit dot list and starter kit dot save permissions so if your users are not going to be able to create their own starter kits or load them like I'm going to do so I can also do oh yeah and these permissions will be in the description if you need them so I can do starter kit load to load the starter kit so as you can see it loaded that starter kit and that is about it for the commands so actually if you wanted to you can configure armor so if I go out of creative and then what I oh god and then what I can do is I can put a helmet or just any armor on and I can save the kit again so if I do starter kit save it will save the kit and if I do starter kit list instead of air like we had before it will have the items of the armor so then if I load it again SK load I will have all of the starter kits so with this plugin you can actually configure users to have armor on which with other ones you're usually not able to so that's about it for this plugin. I'll have any extra information you'll need in the description. The configuration file is rather easy after you've saved starter kits, but it's easier to just do it in game than mess with the config. So if this tutorial has helped you in some sort of way, there'll be a download link in the description for this plugin. If you happen to be viewing this on the plugin third, congratulations, you are in the correct place. Have a great day. Please subscribe to Tech at US and goodbye.